Hey folks, it's February and we just had a crazy snowstorm and so our food forest is totally inundated with snow right now. And I thought it was a good opportunity to talk a little bit more about snow harvesting and some of the design constraints that, that we were dealing with when we put our food forest together um, and some of the benefits of those design constraints as well. So let's just look at the food forest a little bit and make some observations. So you'll see how big of a snow event we had. That's just uh, the accumulation from one snow event. I think people don't realize how cold it is where we grow. And one of the interesting things about permaculture, or one of the criticisms that people give to it, is this idea that it only works in subtropic and tropical locations. But that's really just not the case. Um, you know, this food forest is extremely productive. One of the benefits of the food forest is that it's this huge snow trap. And I'm actually standing beside about two feet of snow, or about 60 centimeters, depending on which system you use, metric or imperial. And snow itself has about a 10 to 1 ratio of moisture. So if you get 2 inches of snow or 24 inches, that's about 2.4 inches of rain equivalent. Or 60 centimeters would be about 6 centimeters or 60 millimeters of uh, rainfall. And so it's really in our best interest to make sure that when we're cleaning the sidewalk, we're actually snow mulching. So you get a sense of there's our clean sidewalk and all the snow is actually going onto those cherry trees. Same with behind me here. We've got all this snow from the sidewalk ending up on the cherry trees. Now one of the constraints that we had on our property was this giant spruce tree right here. And it's actually south of the food forest and so it creates a lot of shade and it reduces the thaw of the food forest itself. Which is interesting because on first glance that might seem like something that's detrimental however it's actually really beneficial because we have a climate where there's a lot of chinooks and so chinooks are basically these warm events that occur through the winter I'll just get you a image of the food forest here there are these events that happen through the winter where we can lose all of our snow in a really short period of time and so having that shade and all of the snow in here actually can help protect the trees from these random thaw events. So if you have any questions about snow harvesting, uh, put them in the comments below. If you've got a specific video you want me to do about snow harvesting, I'd love to do it. Um, before I let you guys go today, just thought I'd let you guys know this week, February 12th, I'm going to be doing three live YouTube sessions. On Monday at 12 o'clock noon, Mountain Standard Time, we're going to be talking about pigs and permaculture. Those two elements work really well together. On Wednesday evening at 6 p.m., we're going to do part three of the Introduction to Permaculture course. And on Friday at 3.30 Mountain Standard Time, we're going to talk with Javin Bernakovich about making better decisions and the holistic context. So hopefully you show up at those live events. I'd love to have you. If you have any questions about snow harvesting, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel if you find this interesting and valuable and you want notifications as to when we go live. And if you found this interesting, hit the like button. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys soon.